Hey guys, and welcome back. Right, let's go back to the Delphinus. Welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. Let's try and take this game home, shall we? So, first things first, we need to hand in our final bounty at Sailor's Island. So, let's do just that. And then... We should just about be ready to go. Ooh, let's get some fish. Sea grade fish. Bah. Uh right, Sailor's Island. There she blows. And that will complete and we should everything we need. Well, who would have thought that Exploration King Bays? You defeated everyone on the Wanton list. Thanks to you, people can sail the skies freely and safely. It isn't much, but take this. 30,000 gold. Right. We also... did get an item for doing that as well. I can't remember what the item was. We're back up to a load of money. Hmm. Well, who's got the lowest? Uh... There you go. <laughs> right. So what did we get? Rizlum crystals. Stealth ray. Orb of serenity. Yeah, so we can just sell the orb of serenity, which we shall go do now. Okay. And then... There are two more bosses to fight. So, bless the moons. Right, uh, buy and sell items. Sell. Now, we want to sell this bad boy. Worth 10 grand. Not bad. Definitely take that. And we can leave. So, we can either go to the Dark Rift first, or we can go fight the super secret. Vigoro battle. Let's go do the Vigoro battle. Because that one I'm kind of more interested in, to be honest. I do also want to check one other thing. Let's go back to the island, because in theory... I guess we could go do the Dark Rift battle first. Um, in theory, and it's just a theory... Uh, we should be at about 99% of all discover uh, of treasure now, considering there's like literally one chest left to find in the game. Unless we have somehow missed some treasure chests, but I'm pretty sure we haven't. Now, I <sighs> we potentially could have gone and got the last treasure chest, but I don't know if we could then leave. I'm not sure. I'm going to say that we may be able to leave once getting 100%, but... You again, chirp. You're interrupting our privacy again. You're really trying my patience. Treasure hunting. 98%. Yeah, so literally. One treasure chest left. Happy with that. That's not what I wanted to push. The way we fight, hmm, nearly fought 1,200 times. So Gilda's the only character that we've got that hasn't been killed. Kind of interesting. Or at least passed out in combat. So here we are, we're at the Dark Rift, so we might as well go and do the Dark Rift fight. Now... As I can understand, let's go to equipment. Renders the wearer invulnerable to normal attacks. Yeah, that's really quite useful. Improves attack power and will. Do we have another defense aura? Yeah, we do. It's gonna put our attack down a little bit, but that's fine. In fact, if I can, I want to try and get everybody equipped with a Defense Aura, if we have enough. 
No. Sadly not. Um... Right, allows the... Yeah, to recover extra spirit. Because we're going to want spirit. Constitution gem protects... Uh, what does the constitution gem do? Boosts magic... Uh, defense and magic defense. That's fine. Right, because this, this fight is going to be rough. This It really is. So, let's go east. Now, I've got a couple of strategies that I've read for taking this guy out. But, reading strategies and, of course, enacting them are two very different things. <coughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see how we do. Now, where's the dark rift? Where's the part where we emerged from? Ah. We're on the wrong side. Of course we are. There we go. Now, where is it? There it is. Got some fish flying strangely close to the dark rift. Now, I'm guessing those fish are going to respawn now. Nope, we actually got some of them. Cool. So, from what I can understand, the dude that we're going to fight should be in this next room. There we go. Back to that music again. And he should hang around. There he is. Right, okay. We are going to put a save state down. Because he is apparently, like I said, the hardest monster in the game. Right, so let's go for slot A. Do it. Dark Rift inside. Apparently this is one of the best ways of grinding. Killing this guy. But, here goes everything. So this guy hits like a truck. He does four and a half thousand damage. And I've already thought of a mistake that we've made. Uh, we're going to hit him with Pirate's Wrath. We need somebody wearing the black map. Otherwise he's going to run away. Uh, so that's actually something we've screwed up on already. Right, okay, that's fine. Well, let's see how, how well we can we can take this. Um, I guess I want you to just focus. And you, I want you to use Justice Shield. Let's see what happens. The Black Looper. Now, there is some lore around this guy. Um... Some people seem to think this is Gaussian's soul because he can drop the same medallion that Gaussian drops and he doesn't appear until you've defeated Gaussian. But I don't know about that. Oop. So let's hit him again with Reign of uh, Pirate's Wrath. Ica, you know what to do. Delta shield. Uh, you know what? Attack. And I'm going to want you to use your delta shield again. Let's see what happens. Critical hit. <laughs> Zero damage. Very nice. His. Um, oh, we've killed him in two hits. Uh, that's the hardest battle in the game apparently okay okay as you can see you get a lot for dealing with him like a serious amount of stuff a lot of people say that that's the best 
uh, way of grinding in this game. Uh, yeah, that that's <clears throat> that's the hardest fight in the game, apparently. I I don't know what to tell you, but there we go. Anyway, now we can get out of here. If we're going the right way, we are going the right way. So you can actually like go in and out and fight him as many times as you want. And obviously, as you can see, that would be a really freaking efficient way of farming. And I'm actually going to put a save just down here. Right at the end of the game. Now, we've got one boss left to go and fight. Uh, I've seen people and I've read stories about people being stuck on that fight for a very 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 long time but I guess grinding is the key to victory not sure why he didn't run away though because apparently you need to use um, black map because if you use the black map apparently loopers don't run away which I was unaware of and the last fight of the game should be here so here we go we've unlocked it the final this is actually technically the most hidden fight in the game. So, once you've accomplished this huge list of things, um, we can... which So, so to unlock this fight, you need to get 90% of treasure. You need to fight and defeat and claim all of the bounties, all of the discoveries, all of the moonfish. I don't think it mentions chams and a few other little bits and pieces to get this guy to uh, spawn. <clears throat> Alright everyone, we're home. Get some rest whilst we have the chance. It really is nice to come home once in a while. Finally, I can have some time to unwind. Hey baby, have you been red? You miss me? Yeah, remember Gregorio saying that he's going to um, go off and become an air pirate? <clears throat> Oh, it sounds like there's someone out on the deck. Is it a friend of yours? That crude voice, that musky smell, could it be? Oh, God. Oh, also, the black looper can drop every item in the game. Randomly. <laughs> I'm touched, baby. You remembered me. I'm back for you. And this time, I'm not taking no as an answer. So here we go, the most super secret boss of the game. St. Douche himself. Faze, show yourself. Air Pirate Vigorio is here to greet you. I like his little quiff of hair. It looks like an anchor. I knew it! That would explain why I've been feeling nauseous all day. Vigorio, you're alive. As much as ever since the last time we met, I've become an air pirate. As you can see, yeah, his quiff is actually an anchor. And I've searched the world for the strongest sailors I could find, and I've picked fights with all of them. <laughs> fight after fight, I emerged victorious, and I'm stronger than ever. With this strength, you won't stand a chance against me. Wait a second there, Vigor. Are you saying you want to fight? Again? Of course. And I even did everything the proper air pirate way. Boarded your ship, and now I'm challenging you to a fight. Come on, Vase. Once I defeat you, I'll become the king of all air pirates. Well, well, well. Let's do this. I think we should start by warming him up with some pirate's wrath. I have honestly no idea how hard he's he is. I've heard very conflicting things. Um, let's let's get some lunar blessing going. Justice shield. Let's see how tough this guy is. Like I say, honestly, I've no idea. Maybe he's really strong. Um, again, very conflicting things. Not like the Black Looper, where everybody says he's just borderline impossible. Or well, the hardest fight in the game. Uh, that's bad. 
Is she confused? Yep. That's bad. Oh, look at that. He's definitely strong. Right, good to know. So hit him with Pirate's Wrath again. We want... Completely restores, cures all ill effects. And I guess we're... Just going to use Justice Shield. I suppose we're just going to have a war of attrition here. Oh, random fire. Okay. Okay, that does hurt. It's not too bad, but it does hurt. Maybe we should have got her immune. Now, I think he's red. So if we use blue, that should be polar opposites for him. Pirate's Wrath. Uh, Ica is now back amongst the land of the living. I don't know if he uses magic. I have no idea. To be honest. Um, maybe just get her to attack as normal, I guess. Um, you know what? Get everybody buffed. Sure. And special move, Royal Blade. Oh, no, let's just keep up Justice Shield. I get the feeling that's probably going to be quite useful. Zero damage, yeah. Using those auras of defense. Wow. Yeah, that's not worth it. <laughs> it's um, go big with special moves or nothing by the look of things. Let's get everybody buffed. If nothing else... Nope, we're not going to attack. We are going to go for more Pirate's Wrath. Uh, I guess, like... I mean, it's not worth her really using anything. Uh, she doesn't have really any offensive magic. Not really. Let's try... Let's give some of that. No, he is red, though. That's the trouble. Stinging rain to damage. Maybe we could try that, I guess. Um, Justice Shield, I suppose. We could save up for Prophecy, but I'm not convinced. <clears throat> I'm not convinced Prophecy is going to do that much more damage. I guess we could try it. Because this is just going to be a war of attrition. Random fire. Ooh, that definitely hurts. Start getting some heals out. Now, is this going to do much damage? No. <laughs> no. Not at all. Not at all. So I think we're going to keep Fina as the healing. Right, I guess focus. Delta shield. Fina. Uh, I mean, I guess we could just pop Cliff of Speed. Just might as well, right? Just a shield. Now let's see what the big Burke's got. Random fire. That's the one that really hurts. Hopefully that will do something. Next turn, we can heal. Right, let's go for... Attack varies depending on crew, yeah. Well, let's just use Prophecy, see how that does. I was thinking I might need a practice run or two against this guy, but we might be okay. I 
In fact, I think we are going to be okay. Now, how much damage does this do? Yeah, I mean, it does more, but not a lot more. Okay, so let's just do Pirate's Wrath. I don't think he's really using magic. So, I guess just focus. Um, let's just use Lunar Light, heal everybody up. Just a shield. Short. God, that's so good. We should be able to just pummel him into the ground. Yeah, see, you're doing 2,000 more damage. It's not worth it at all. By the time you've saved up for Prophecy, which admittedly only takes two turns, but in the time you can use Prophecy once, you can use this twice. Yeah, it's, Prophecy is actually not that powerful. Um, strangely. You would have thought it would do at least twice the damage, but it doesn't. Um, I wonder if that's even worth... I guess we could try going for that. Heal, I guess. Justice Shield. Alright, let's just keep the circus going. Yeah, it's not worth it at all. Cannon fire. This looks like it could hurt. And yeah, it actually does, but we've got so much health that I guess it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Pirate's Wrath. Um, you know what? Why don't you just cast healing magic? And I guess you as well. Just cast healing magic. Um, you... I guess use the judgment. Sure, let's just try and get him done. Let's try this. Okay. Yep, another seven thousand damage thereabouts. How much do you do? Okay. That's not actually too bad. That hurt. But that's where we can just go Pirate's Wrath. Um, attack, maybe? I don't know. Lunar Light and you, I guess, the Judgment. Man, I love having a big spirit bar. Reason to that, what you will. <laughs> a tiny pitiful amount of damage. Should just about be dead here. Oh, I lost again. Yes, you did. Admittedly, there was one of you against us four. So, you know. Enrique is just cutting his arm off there. <laughs> what a thing to say as you stand over this defeated man. Huh, that was easy. Right. And there we go. Mesh tights. I don't know how good these mesh tights are. Ha, <laughs> you truly are strong. Even after all that training, I still can't beat you, Gorio. But, by fighting with you, I discovered something, and I have decided to make it my new motto. I decided to adopt your policy of no matter what happens, never give up. I'm not giving up on defeating you. I'm going to become stronger, and next time we meet, I will surely beat you. Uh -huh. Understood. Whenever you're ready, come find me. 
<laughs> I swear, he sure is persistent. With that, I must go. My dear, lovely crew members await me aboard the Draco. <laughs> Someday I'll have my own headquarters, like this, and I'll fill it up with the most beautiful women from around the world. What? So long, Vase. You better take care of those two pretty ladies until next time we meet, especially Red. Pretty sure they're not interested, dude. Ah, that musky smell. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that is literally, as far as I'm aware anyway, that's all the bonus content in the game done. And considering we're here, we might as well max Enrique's health out, just for the fun of it. <clears throat> and I guess we've got one video of this game left, and that's going to be the end. Man, that's kind of a, kind of a thing to say. This game has been nearly a hundred episodes. Madness. Absolute madness. Right, let's bring it home. Uh, buy and sell. I tell you what, let's buy some of these. Let's. I think we're not going to need many. Let's get that many. I say not going to need many. That's like half of our money. Thank you. Come again. Um, items. Right, let's give them the seeds. Oh, we've got some Vidal seeds. Oh, no. Dexa seeds. Oh, there you go, Enrique. Ugh, still need more. Still need more. Ugh, okay. Need more seeds. Bye. Give me the damn seeds, you bastard. Pretty sure he should be just giving them to me for free by now. He's the richest man in the... in existence. Right, there's no way. There we go. Nice. So everybody is maxed out. Well, maxed out in health anyway. Um, right, let's sell. Never need any of these seeds again. Um, right, I'm going to have a quick look as well with the whole chums just to make sure we do indeed have the ultimate version of um ah yeah and potentially we we could also go and try and buy the best um sword as well charm wisdom crystals fiddle seed right that's what we want Wow, he gives us like a fraction of what they're worth, which is how very RPG rip off of you. Okay, cool. Right. And with that, we go to our final, final date with destiny. I think what I'll do next time. Uh, in the next video, we'll just appear where we were supposed to be. Okay. Drop a save. Like so. Because if I ever want to come back and grind out max level characters or whatever, at least I've got the option. <clears throat> Not that I really see a point in grinding out to max level characters. Because the game clearly, clearly isn't balanced for it at all. Right. So Sailor's Island, potentially, is where we could buy this sword. That random sales guy is.
I wonder if that rolling around bloke has got anything new to say. <laughs> Are we actually Vase the Legend yet? Nope, we're Vase the Bounty King. Apparently the way the titles work is a bit weird. Something absolutely unimaginable has come floating up from beneath the clouds. What does this mean? Why are there islands appearing out of nowhere? The world must be coming to an end. Maybe. Just maybe. I keep thinking about that with the heat wave we're having. Uh, where's the dude that sells the random stuff? Where is the dude that sells the random stuff? I'm sure there's one on every island. Um, is there not one on Sailor's Island? Could have sworn there was. It's definitely not here. Unless... Not down there. Um, it's not one of these random other shops. Nope. At least we can get out of here before the door shuts. Nope. Uh, he's not in there. I doubt he's in here. No way. Bugger. Is there really not one? I guess we're going to have to go to Nassar. I could have sworn he was there. Well, I mean, I'm obviously wrong. And there's the girl. Okay. Right, let's get out of here. Right, well, I guess we're going to go to Nassar, or Nasrad. Yeah, that'll do. One of those places. And this is where we find out that this ultimate weapon, if indeed we can even buy it, because I'm still not sure if it's a random chance that he's got it in his stock. Uh, costs like, I don't know, 180 billion gold. Yeah, I remember when we had all that gold. That was good times. Temple Perin. Nasrad. Uh, pretty sure this would be the easiest and closest place to get it from. Um, right, let's try. Shall we? Yeah, because he should be in here. There he is. I'm known as the Mystery Merchant. Yep. So, there it is, the Sky Fang. He actually has it. Sword so powerful it's said that it can split the heavens. The ultimate sword. Right. So, to get Skyfang, which interestingly enough, you would have thought that the weapon Matey Boy made for us would have been the best sword in the game, but no. Right, what can we sell? I guess we can sell that. We need 50,000. I guess we've got 2x cannons to sell. Uh, we've got 5 inch cannon to sell. Arc well torpedo. Uh, sparkling deck. Yeah, we'll probably upgrade our ship. <clears throat> and that should give us even more stuff to sell. So, Skyfang is the best weapon in the game. And you can only get that after completing all the uh, requirements for making the hardest enemy to appear, Gregorio. So, got another moon gun. 
Although that's a different moon gun, apparently. So you've got the moon cannon and the moon gun. Interesting. Hmm. X cannon. Might get rid of the X cannon then and put the moon gun there. And the crystal cannon. Which actually does more damage. Just curious. Right, so triple turbo. Double shaft. Splits the engine into two independent stages. Doubling power output. Uh, yep. Alloy deck. We want the sparkling deck, which is just better. <laughs> Not hum... Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's better. It's like four times better. Damn. That's actually ridiculous. Timing valve. I don't think we want any of that. Alright, let's sell. So 50,000 for a sword, you know, it doesn't actually seem that expensive. To be honest with you. So another X cannon, alloy deck, and the triple turbo. And that will leave us with a pocket full of change. So it's interesting that there isn't such a focus on getting everybody else super powerful weapons. I mean, you would have thought Ica would have had uh, some kind of quest log for a super powerful weapon. That would have been cool. But I guess not. And there we go, Skyfang. Now we really are equipped to go do the final part of the game. So, when we come back, guys, I'm going to meet you um, back in the room where we defeated, or back near the teleporters where we defeated Sylvian Bane. So, till then, guys, thanks for watching.